All right, what's on the bench? Um, thanks to my uh, patrons for donating money to the channel, allows me to buy things. And uh, I've been hanging on to some money and I figured it's time to spend it. Um, so I, I've looked at one of these for quite a while. Um, there's a nice series, uh, these are RF generators, RF signal generators, and there's a nice series of them. Uh, this is the Agilent um, 8648, and there's an A, B, C, and maybe a D or something. Uh, I think the A version goes to a gigahertz, the B version goes to two gigahertz, the C version goes to three gigahertz, la 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 la. I forget how far they go up, but um, they still go for quite a bit of money, and I found this one for $400, so uh, it is now mine. Now, if you're out in the market and want to buy one of these things, um, you might think that it does everything right from the get-go. It's got buttons for AM modulation, FM modulation, phase modulation, pulse modulation, uh, internal modulation, external modulation. It's got all of these cool options, but you don't always get those things. So you, when you order the thing, you had to buy the right options, okay? So this particular unit, let me uh, let me flip it around, take the power cord off of it. Um, nice thing about these things is they're fairly small too. Um, let's see here. So uh, can you read? I think you can read it now. So this one says the serial number, then it has the option numbers: one e two, one e five, one e six, and one e a. Um, and I'm trying to remember which is which. I think 1E5 is a uh, temperature-controlled oven oscillator, a 10, 10 megahertz uh, uh, oscillator in it, so it's, it's, it's the fancy, fancy reference. And then uh, 1EA, I believe, is the uh, high power. So this one has a higher output power than normal. And then the other two, one of them is uh, pulse modulation, and one of them is internal modulation. Um, okay, uh, other things in the back, this is where you put in your pulse modulation. So all of the FM modulation, a phase modulation, AM modulation, all those other things, there's, there's a, there's a uh, generator inside this programmable. That's one of these options. But for pulse generation, you have to you have to bring it in from the back. All right, uh, 10 megahertz reference, um, uh, GPIB. I guess this is there's a little sticker sticker over the uh, over what it is here or a piece of tape. I mean, uh, I can barely read it because it's all messed up. Auxiliary interface, whatever that is, so aux interface. Um, so that's on the back, um, time base adjust and stuff, so you can adjust these things. Anyway, that's what's on the back. Let's take a look at the front again. I'll go ahead and plug it in while, I, while I've got it flipped around. All right. I go back here. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. It'll look nicer. It's got a nice uh, uh, vacuum fluorescent display. Um, so, uh, buttons. Uh, we're going to have frequency and amplitude and FM modulation, AM modulation, phase modulation. Um, we have a frequency knob and an amplitude knob. We have arrows and references and stuff we can set. Um, we can type the numbers in. Uh, these are megahertz, uh, kilohertz, percent modulation, uh, and then there's stuff for the uh, output, microvolts, dB, dBm, uh, millivolts, microvolts, EMF. I uh, don't really know what those are, actually. Uh, turn the power, I mean the uh, uh, output on and off. Uh, attenuator hold. I don't know what that is. This is the modulation stuff, so you can you can modulate at different frequencies, and uh, you can actually use this this uh, BNC to bring in modulation, or actually you can set this to say one kilohertz, and one kilohertz will actually come uh, come out this connector here. So you can use it as 
uh, not only an RF source, but you can use it as a, as a uh, audio frequency source as well uh, through the modulation port. Memory is built in to save things. Um, GPIB address is set, uh, set to 19. We'll go to local. All right, um, let's see here. So I think the first thing to do would be to hook it up to a spectrum analyzer. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, and I want to make sure my amplitude is say minus 10 dB. I don't want to blow up my spectrum analyzer. So we'll set it to a low value. Let's turn that on. All right, so I have the frequency, uh, the spectrum analyzer set for a zero to two gigahertz span. I have this set to one gigahertz. So if we hit RF on, we get a, we get a carrier over there. I think you can see that way back there. Hard to get rid of all the glare off all these strings, all these screens, but yeah, there we go. When one, and if we hit uh, frequency and we hit the frequency knob, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> it's point zero, 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 zero. I'm changing it way, 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 way down. So you make a hurt. Well, we can't, yikes. Tenths of Hertz. Anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and change it in uh, tenths. Tenths, 10, 10, hertz, 10 megahertz steps. Yeah, there we go. Now we can, now we can get it to move back and forth over there. All right, so let's go back to a megahertz. I mean, uh, a gigahertz. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on that. Uh, span 100 kilohertz. All right, so we have it over there. We can turn modulation on. We'll turn on AM modulation. Uh, turn that on and uh, okay so we get a real funny funny picture over there that's because we are AM modulating with a sawtooth wave so let's change that to a sine wave uh, this is a 10 kilohertz sine wave so over there it's 10 kilohertz if I change it to uh, uh, 20 kilohertz it moves it over there so you can just type it in one kilohertz hard to see now because we're not we're, we're not uh, gone in close enough uh, let's do a span of uh, 50 kilohertz should be yes just starting to see the modulation over here now so let's change the modulation to 5 kilohertz it's nice and wide now we can go instead of AM modulation we can turn that off we can go to FM modulation turn that on uh, so there's FM modulation at a kilohertz. Let's do 10 kilohertz and it's doing funny stuff over there. A hundred kilohertz. Woo. Okay. Uh, 0.1 kilohertz. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 0.5 kilohertz. Anyway, it's doing its FM modulation stuff. Okay. We can turn that off. Uh, let's see. FM we can turn that off uh, we can go to phase modulation which i'm not really up to speed on i will investigate that and demo it at some length and uh, other length in time but phase is set to one rad so it's changing the phase kind of like fm but in different okay so it's uh changing the phase instead of the frequency um let's see and then it's got uh let's see what else does it have uh, okay, so it has some built-in things. If you hit this, it's 400, 400 hertz modulation. This is the default one kilohertz modulation. Um, uh, we can also go to uh, this button here. Okay, so this is kind of a fun button. Okay, so let's go back to 10. Let's see here. We're in, we, let's go back to AM modulation. Um, five kilohertz. Okay. Uh, let's on, there we go. Five kilohertz. Now that is, uh, AM modulation, uh, at a sine wave. So this S I N B hit this. Now we're AM modulating at triangle wave, a square wave, a sawtooth wave, and then just the default condition. So got a lot of things built into it. Um, yeah, so things are looking pretty good. Um, 
Let's go ahead and demo the pulse modulation. Okay, I think that's best done on an oscilloscope. So let's uh, change things a bit. All right, uh, so I have a 500 megahertz uh, um, signal and uh, let's see, let's try to get a little more voltage out of it. How do we do that? This is micro millivolts. Okay, so we'll do amplitude. Let's do 1000 millivolts. Woo, there we go. I got a nice big, a nice big picture on the, on the oscilloscope. Okay, um, now let's turn on uh, pulse modulation. Now for pulse modulation, we need to have an external uh, source. So I'm going to use the uh, function generator, uh, the ARB on the um, key site to modulate this box. Let's see here if I can get my BNC on correctly. There we go. Okay, so we can turn on pulse modulation by pushing this button twice. It says pulse modulation rear input. Okay. And so now we can go over here to the waveform generators. We're going to put a square wave out five Hertz at five volts. And if we turn this on, it is pulsing. It's hard to see there, but if we, if we go out a uh, single sweep it, let's see here, let's go way out. Yeah, there we go. Let's run it again. So if we, there we go. So uh, these are 200, no, 500 megahertz. And it's modulated by the square wave that I had set. Uh, we could probably modulate it with a sine wave. That might be fun. Let's see here. Uh, wave Form generator. What if we put in a sine wave? I don't know if it does it or not, but we can try. Nah, it's just on or off. It's just it's just a di diode switching, probably on or off. So we'll go back to square. All right. So there's our square, and uh, we could change the. Uh, let's change it to pulses. Uh, duty cycle. Let's say it's ten percent. Ten percent. Uh, there we go. Now we just get these little pulses of RF. So that's built in as well. That's one of the options. Um, yeah. Uh, things working great. I think it's a good investment. This is a really, really nice box. Um, inside, it's interesting. Uh, Hewlett Packard, uh, back in the 90s, I think it was, did a bunch of instruments that were spectrum analyzers and RF generators and radio test sets and stuff like the radio test that I have the 8921 and they they were all based on kind of a common um, design and so they have uh, cards that plug in and I believe this is in that same family where there are cards that plug in and do different things that are shared among those different instruments, or at least mostly, right? Instead of reinventing the wheel, every new instrument, they, they propagated all those things. So I think the modulation source is probably a card out of one of those other boxes and, you know, amplifiers and stuff are probably out of those other boxes. The synthesizer is probably out of another box and stuff. All right, well, there you go. Just a quick look at my new toy, um, the Agilent uh, 8648B. And it is good from nine kilohertz to uh, two gigahertz. Um, I would rather, would rather have had the three gigahertz version, but I just haven't found one for a good price yet. And this one came along and uh, got it for a good deal. And it was free shipping too, which is really nice.